Dobar dan, dobar dan, dobar večer, dobar dan. Pomaže Bog. Pomaže Bog. Ola pomoga. Good afternoon. My name is Alexander Sasha Lovicic. I'm the director of the board of Service for Trump. In our eighth year as the official coalition partner to President Trump, and the Republican Party. Standing next to me is our Executive Director for the great state of Wisconsin, Lucas Baker, who has been an incredible friend to the Cypriot community at large, and with incredible support from all the Serbian Americans and our friends in Wisconsin, we're here to deliver Wisconsin to President Trump and beyond. I wanted to thank, obviously, our incredible guests, but before everything else, I wanted to say thank you to our founder, Dr. Olga Rossi, who couldn't be here today, but she's grateful for you all showing up. And as, thank you for that. And I wanted to thank our guests individually, and of course, everyone who has made sure, including yourselves, that this event is a huge success. Before I hand it over to Lucas to tell you a little bit about the engagement that Service for Trump had had and the impact we've had here in Wisconsin, I wanted to thank Ambassador Rick Grinnell for the incredible work he's done on behalf of the Serbian American community and the community at large. Please, a round of applause for Ambassador Grinnell. And you all heard from Robert Fulman Claudia down in New York, who has done an incredible job of co-chairing the Serbian caucus on behalf of all Serbian Americans. Please, round of applause for Congress Ruben Of course, as you heard, the incredible Governor Rod Johnson is on his way. He's stuck in traffic just like you all were. And he'll be here in a couple of minutes. And of course, Rob Lagojevic is here in the building as well. You will be hearing from him as well. Before I hand the mic, I want to say thank you to Miros Mladjovic and Ivan Tifunovic and every single human who has made this event incredible. And thank you all for showing. Please, a round of applause for our incredible executive director of Wisconsin, Lucas Baker. How are we all doing? Are we ready to deliver Wisconsin to Donald Trump? Are we ready to make America great again? Thank you so much. So, I'm not Serbian. Shock. <laughs> um, but I had, I worked for Ambassador Grinnell in 2020, and I had the utmost privilege to meet so many of all of you, our Serbian American allies here in our wonderful country. And um, when I was in high school, my water polo coach actually was Serbian, and you know, we were the best. <laughs> so that was, that was great. <laughs> I hated him at the time because he was always like, more laps, Luke, more laps. But he was great. But um, Serbian Americans are truly, in the last. 20 to 30 years, I think, are the new bedrock of what outstanding immigration means for this country. Yes, sir. They are, you are people that believe in coming here legally, raising a family, owning a business, paying taxes, and living your goddamn lives normally. <laughs> With less government influence and just saying, leave me alone, I lived in a country that was all communism. I know what it's like to live through bullshit regime, and it's no fun. I came to America, and when I met Serbians for the first time, all I would constantly hear is, why is your country going in this stupid direction of communism? It doesn't make sense. And
And so I just, you know, I immediately had this connection with all of you. And I just think, you know, through my work with Ambassador Grinnell and meeting Dr. Ravasi, who is such a great leader and such a champion for all of you and for this movement, she couldn't be here, but she is doing, she is, she sends her love and she is putting up the good fight in your homeland of Serbia right now. So, but she will be back very soon. Um, I couldn't feel more at home when I'm with my Serbian American friends. I could not feel more at home. And I think the story that you all have is truly the American dream. Think about it. And you really all need to chant. If you have not, I challenge you all to think about your story. What is your story? I don't know you all personally, but I can give a synopsis of what Serbian Americans are. You left your country because either one, your grandparents, your parents, or even yourselves left your homeland because you were tired of a regime that put you down, put you into a corner, and constantly a government telling you what you had to do with your lives. You came to America because you wanted freedom. Because you saw this beautiful city on a hill, as Ronald Reagan said, and you wanted to make it great. And that's why you came here. I think, especially in this day and age, I think there's a lot to be said of how Jewish Americans and you all have a very similar, similar common denominator. If I was to put person X and person Y next to each other, and we didn't even know, and I didn't tell you if they were Serbian or Jewish, and I was just telling you the synopsis, I think it's very similar. One, pushed out of your homeland. Two, put in either death camps or gulags. Three, underappreciated and underloved by the corporate and European and American elite. And now you're at, and so it's literally the same story. It's the same story. So there really is, it, what this election is about is finding that common denominator with friends across from different backgrounds. I'm not Serbian, but I've found a lot of similarities with you all. Find those similarities with our Jew Amer Jewish American. Find those similarities with our black American friends. Because when you do that, that's how we win. And that is all because of the leadership of Donald J. Trump. That has never been a part of this party before. On Monday night when I was at the convention, we had, you know, the president, the, we had the president of the Teamsters endorsing the president. I think he spoke for a little too long, but his first four minutes were great. <laughs> and, you know, what he said was all this stuff about unions and a lot of the worker and all of that. And 20 years ago, you would have never heard a single person in that event hall clapping for that guy. This year, rounds of applause. Why? Because under Donald Trump, we now have a shit ton of Democrats converted to conservative policies because they see the light in seeing that under Donald Trump, they had more money in their pockets, they were freer, the government was not up their ass, and we were able to do a good job of just living our lives and living truly the American dream. That's what it's about. That's what immigrants like you all have come to this country and made it great for. So I challenge you all, Find those common denominators with your friends of other groups, other nationalities, wherever you are, and make the case as to why they need to vote for Donald Trump in this election. And when you do that, remember also it is about local elections as well. We need to take Tammy Baldwin out of Wisconsin. <laughs> I'm proud to say I am a gay man, and that lesbian has not done a single thing for 
gay Americans in this country. She's a rubber stamp for, for Joe Biden. She doesn't do a goddamn thing. Eric Humpty is the way to go. He was just at an event for my uh, coalition of gay Republicans this afternoon. He's totally behind us. He's behind you all. He's a businessman just like our president for the next, for the next four years. Get behind him. Spread the word. I look forward to knowing you all, meeting more of you. Thank you, Sasha. And uh, continue showing the love to our leader, Olga Ravasi. And we're going to keep this thing going. And uh, have a great party. Thank you so much. Let's do that. Thank you, Lucas Baker. It was always good enough. Uh, standing next to us, that fast and being with incredible language and energy. Thank you all for standing and supporting our incredible efforts the last eight years. We are going to take this one home. Thank you on behalf of the entire organization of Service to Trump and the incredible team that we have here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is MAGA Country. Have a great day.